What's going on, y'all? So, Real Housewives of Atlanta, Season 7, The Reunion Part 2. We almost done, y'all. We got the last part. I knew they was going to say NeNe's breakdown until last, next week to the last part. That's really all I wanted to see because I wanted to know what the fuck happened with the mama. You know, that's basically all we want to see. Um, Let me see. Can I remember how? I'm not finna... Like, girl, it was draining. Okay? It was a little draining. Um, I'm going to just talk about the key points that I made or that stood out to me on certain situations. Uh, I think when the show first came back, you know, at the end, they was talking about from last week when Phaedra and Portia, not Phaedra and Portia, Phaedra and, um, Kenya went together, going at each other. Uh, they was talking about the whore thing again and, you know, Apollo bullshit. You know, I was just over it. And then they started talking and Andy gave, brought up the charity situation right remember when any was like you know well if you do this and i'll give twenty thousand dollars to whatever charity you want and they picked that school charity in detroit and you know um that was the thing that i did hear that kenya didn't do yet but it took her a minute to get the money to do it you know but she said that she sent the check off nini said she didn't and uh it was like girl you gonna do it she said i send the check off when i'm ready to I said, wait a minute, Nene. Next thing you put up this big fuss about how you got the money right then and there, but you didn't just go ahead and do it. And then so Nene and, you know, Kenya gets into a little back and forth, and I got both sides, okay? Kenya thing was, see, you talking about how much money you got, you such a rich bitch, and, you know, you make more money than all of us on this stage, and yada, 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 you think you better, but you can't just write the check, you know, that's being petty, that's, um, you know, it's for kids and stuff like that, just go ahead and put the check out there. My hair is just so fucking, ugh, today, and it's kind of annoying me because, well, fuck it, y'all deal with it, y'all be like, bitch, you worry too much, I know, it just... Anyway, back to what I was saying. So, yeah, I get that. You know, like, girl, if you got the money like you claim, just go ahead and write the fucking check. But then Nene, her side was, you know, well, the thing of it is, I don't have to uh, take a picture of a check and post it on Instagram and make a mockery of the situation and all this stuff and yada, yada, yada. But then King was like, well, shit, bitch, you know, since motherfuckers claim that I don't never do nothing, let me put it up there and show proof that I did it. And I was like, okay. You know, I see both sides. Both y'all both trifling and petty. But if you said you was going to do it, Kenya did hold up to her end of the bargain. No matter how long it took her to get it, she did hold up to it. Hold up to it. So, Nene, you were being a little petty. Like, bitch, if you got the money, like you said, go ahead and cut that check. Like, girl, come on. This is annoying the fuck out of me. But, um, anyway, moving on from that. Cynthia. 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 Cynthia brings up, I don't know how it got brought up. Then it started talking about Phaedra and, you know, Cynthia and her getting into it. Talking about the text messages. Talking about the Apollo situation. Um, how she brought that shit up. And she basically, Cynthia had the nerve to say, you know, I didn't bring it up. I just repeated what my husband told me or whatever that Apollo said. I wasn't doing this and I wasn't doing that. And I'm sitting here like, Cynthia just cannot understand and see the fact that she is in the wrong 100% with this text message business, okay? It don't matter if your husband told you what do Apollo said, okay? That's what y'all do. Husbands and wives, they gossip, you know, amongst each other. But here's the difference. They keep it amongst each other. They don't go spreading it to this person and that person and that person. Because if you really want to... Then gonna say something i presented it to you so that you could shut it down bitch shut it down shut it down if you wanted her to shut it down all you had to do was you didn't have to do it like that okay Phaedra, Cynthia, Cynthia you sat there in front of a group of people after you told Kenya after you told Claudia mind you you were cool with Phaedra at this point and you knew that Phaedra did not get along with Claudia for whatever reason because she didn't know her, not necessarily get along with her. She just didn't know her. And she damn sure didn't get along with um, Kenya. So why say that in front of them like that? Instead of just coming in, you know, you taking it to the enemy. Giving the enemy some ammunition to go in. And think that they got a one up. Instead of giving it to um, Phaedra first. And saying, girl, you know, you my friend. 
And let me just tell you, Peter told me some shit about these uh, text messages that Apollo's going around talking about from you cheating with somebody named Mr. Chocolate. And I just wanted to be a good friend and show, tell you what was going up. So just in case if you hear something going on, that's where it's coming from. But it's not coming from my lips, okay? Because I haven't said anything. No, you did it the complete wrong way. And you just won't own up to the fact that you was wrong. And they're going to say something. You gave it to her to shut it down. No, you presented that shit to embarrass her in front of everybody. And you can't tell me no different because a real friend would have pulled another friend to the side and took care of that business right then and there. All right? They would have never brought it up to her enemies, okay? Get the fuck out of here. They were just going back and forth. <laughs> this <agent> was like, <laughs> what, my Aquafina to your Captain Crunch? I said, listen, stop playing. But then again, I don't really get that because Captain Crunch is kind of good. And Captain Crunch is a name brand, you know, a name brand cereal brand, okay? Now, Phaedra, you could have said my Aquafina to your great value, okay? That's generic, all right? Y'all know. But um, anyway... Next thing, or they going back and forth, and you know, um, Cynthia telling King, uh, uh, Phaedra, because uh, uh, Phaedra was like, "Bitch, I don't need this show. I got degrees, I got jobs." And then Cynthia was like, "Girl, why don't you win the case? Okay, why don't you go out there and win those cases that you claim to uh, uh, get and all them stuff?" And I'm sitting here like, "How you gonna tell this girl to win the case?" When you and Peter can't even keep bar one in one place for more than a year. For more than two years. Okay, come on now. Let's stop. And then here come um, uh, Phaedra. Phaedra came back at her like, bitch, Peter got like 20-some, you know, cases against him or lawsuits against him and all that shit. So how you coming at me? Maybe I can help win that shit for you. You know, if you were smart, you would have, you know, some shit like that. And then, you know, Cynthia tried to come back like it wasn't true. But then somebody tweeted out, y'all know y'all be looking up and sure enough. All the fucking cases. It's like 24 of them against Peter. I said, ain't that about a bitch? Y'all need to shut up. Unless that was some false shit. But I saw it. I was like, mm. Y'all be speaking on what y'all don't know. Trying to get at people. And then here come your truth. Throw it back at you. Like, girl, you ain't sitting there right. But, um. Anyway. They started talking about the Phaedra and Candy. Here's the thing. <sighs> Phaedra and Candy stuff, you can look at it, and I'm going to be 100% honest. I ain't taking no sides like that. I'm going to try not to because I can completely see both sides. You know, I try to look on all perceptions and, you know, perspectives and, you know, this side, that side, that side, left, right, front, back. And here's the thing. The main conclusion of this whole argument and this whole, you know, situation between Phaedra and Candy, they both were not being good friends to each other. At that point in their, t in their life. Okay. They were not being good friends to each other. And their communication and understanding was very much lacking. All right. And that's on both of their parts. They're both to blame for that. If you in a good friendship and you know your friend and all of a sudden you feel like a change has came in or is coming. You do not go talk to this person about it, this person about it, that person about it, that person down the line until you to talk to 15 other people and then you have 20 other people come to you trying to butt their nose into your business before you actually go to that person, you know, and say, girl, is there something going on? Because I sense something, a change, you know, you ain't been calling that much. I've been going through some stuff and I really need my friend and I thought you would be there and all this stuff. If you have an issue with a person and you're a woman, you're a man, you're a fucking adult, that is your road dog, that is your homegirl, y'all been cool forever, y'all been, you know, a spoon cooning it out and all that shit, and y'all got that good ass relationship, you should be able to just come to that person and be like, girl, what's up? You know, I feel a little change, you know. You don't have to go to this person, that person, that person, that person, okay? Yeah, we want to, you know, try to, you know... See, do we have a, a case to bring to that person and see, is it just me or should I even bring it up to her? No, if you feel it, bring it up so that you won't have to assume and you won't have to go to this person, that person, that person and make the situation bigger than what it is. Because that's exactly what happened between Candy and um Phaedra. Candy let us know that, you know, a lot of people was like, a lot of people was like, you know, Candy wasn't being a good friend because, you know, Phaedra was going through her shit and, you know, 
Phaedra was like, I know you busy or whatever, but damn, this person was going through all that stuff they was going through, and they could just pick up the phone and just send a simple text and be like, you know, are you cool? Are you okay? And that's all I really wanted. I was like, that's cool. Okay, that's understandable. I get that, Phaedra. But also, well, we sit here going in on Candy, and you know, Candy was like, when I synced it on the playback, and you talking about some, all I need to do is, you know, try to make it seem like it's because of, um, business and you know my business don't my business and I got millions or whatever at the end of the day don't compare it into you you know going through what you're going through with Apollo she felt hurt by that because she said what went on behind the scenes is that you know she also had a family member that was going to jail at that moment so she was going through that too plus the stuff that was going on with her business it wasn't the fact that she got millions and it was a business deal and that if it, it, it got canceled it was the fact that you know a lot of people lives was put their life on hold and were out of jobs because they thought they had a steady job for the moment with this play and it didn't get the all get picked up the way that it should have went you know and so she had that on her heart and all that stuff and i was like damn why didn't they put that on the show because it, it just it just seemed like a whole bunch of shit that was left out and edited out. And, you know, basically, she just felt the way. And she like, so if you want to feel that way, cool. We don't need to be kicking it no more, whatever. And, you know, Faze was like, I be seeing stuff and you inviting this person here, inviting this person that don't invite me. And, you know, like, I get both sides. I really do. And once again, no matter how you look at it, no matter who you want to say is wrong or right, in my opinion, both are wrong and both you know, got the right to feel the way that they feel. But because the communication was not there, they and it caused a lot of misunderstanding. And um, here's the thing. But Phaedra was sitting there to me sometimes and just acting because she just kept on throwing it up in there about what Apollo was doing, what Apollo, what she was going through with the divorce and all this stuff. And she was going through so much. Let me tell you this, Phaedra. Everybody go through shit in life, okay? You're not the only one. Everybody's going through something in their friendships, their relationships, and life or whatever. So you just can't act like you're the only one going through shit and everybody's supposed to stop, drop, and, you know, constantly look up on you. You know, be that friend too and reciprocate and, um, you know, check up on Candy and see what's going on too. She could have been going through some shit and just didn't feel like saying nothing. And then she probably felt the same way. You know, you just it, it's just communication, you know. And you can't say, Candy... Candy, her toy canceling or that play canceling was not a choice, okay? It canceled because the business got fucked up and the person that they thought they had that was legit really wasn't, you know, compared to Apollo. Apollo, in my opinion, that motherfucker wanted to go to jail because that was his choice. You do some wrong, you choose to need to get caught, go to jail or die. You know, there you go. And that was his choice. So, you know, it is what it is. And I'm glad that Phaedra kind of acknowledged that it was a misunderstanding and all that stuff. So, you know, it is what it is. And then they started talking about the text message stuff. And when Portia put her input in about how, I guess, you know, Candy wasn't really speaking up or, you know, that's not what friends do. Whatever the fuck. She, let me tell you something. Every time I saw Portia, I wanted to drink a bottle of vodka. You know, that's just her dress just want me to make. And I guess I'm down here, you know, and it just made me thirsty for some vodka with some orange juice. You know, it just, that's all that they wanted me to do. But I was like, no, I'm not going to do this. I'm already dealing with a drunk motherfucker up in this house already. And I just, we can't have two of us right about now. I got to police one and keep myself together. Like, girl, it ain't going to happen. I got to work in the morning. Mm -mm. But anyway, so yeah. And Candy was like, girl. I knew about the text messages because, and don't act like I didn't know because I the one that told you about it and then, you know, made you aware about something that was going on. But let me tell you something. Candy handled that shit well. The text message gate. She did what Cynthia should have did. Your husband told you that shit. You should have kept it to yourself or brought it to, um, Phaedra first. Okay. Candy was like, yeah, Apollo came over there with the messages and shit. And it is what it is. I didn't say nothing. He started, I looked at the first page and I just walked out like that ain't my business. And that's what I would have did too. I want to see that shit. You know, I, um, she handled it well. And she was like, if we friends, you don't need to. Cause Portia was like, but I didn't know that you know. And then Candy was like, well, you don't need to know what's going on within my friendship with another person. And I was like, that's how you keep your drama down. You don't need to spread your business to this person and that person and that person. It ain't your business to know what's going on with them. And I was like, cool. Um, moving on from that. Uh, 
So, the men come out, I believe. If I forget some stuff, it really wasn't important. The men come out. The first thing that they addressed was Peter being a bitch. Peter being in women business and all that stuff. Here go Peter. You know, uh, they've been calling me. I said, wait a minute, Lupita, Lupita. I said, they've been looking at Scotty shit, Mr. Steele's daddy. They've been reading tweets and shit. They've been calling uh, us Patricia and all that stuff from the beginning of time. But let me tell you this. If I got something to say, he was like, he got real angry like a bitch. No lie. He was like, and this is why people call you a bitch, Pete, okay? Because your your response and your actions was very bitch-made and pussy-fied to me. I don't give a fuck what nobody say. But he was like, well, if somebody got something to say, I'm going to say it, okay? And was like, I don't give a fuck. If I got something to say, I'm going to say it. You can say this, and I'm going to say whatever the fuck it is I want to. I said, calm the fuck down. Who you finna beat up? What point you trying to prove? You trying to prove that you all man? No. Stop it. Stop it. It's just, you just show how much of a bitch man nigga you really are, right? Um, and then, uh, what did he say? Being a bitch or something like that. And then I think he said something to Nene was like, ain't that right, Nene? You know, or Andy was like, do you got anything to say about that, Nene? And Nene was like, nope. Nope. Mm-mm. Nene said that that whole time, like, I'm not finna do this. Okay, if you want to say I was wrong, I was wrong. If you want to say I'm rich, when she was like, no, because I'm really broke, <laughs> you know, and I don't have money like that, I said, Nene, stop playing. But she just said no, and then he was like, oh, you know you got something to say. You really not going to say nothing? Come on, Nene, you know you got something to say. And I'm just sitting here like, for once, I was on Nene's side. On this part, I was like, y'all sitting here trying to provoke this bitch to go off. Okay, we just want her to shut the fuck up, you know, because we kind of tired of her a little bit. But y'all are trying and trying to provoke her into arguments. And I saw that. I was like, if she said no, let it go and move on to the next segment. Okay, just let it the fuck on go. And that's when, you know, Greg was like, he don't get into women business or whatever. And he don't need to take her for his wife. She know where I'm at if she need me. And it is what it is and all that stuff, yada, yada, yada. Um, then they started talking about, you know, the shit, the, the text messages. If you felt like, you know, in this day and age, somebody made the point, Apollo went to jail for falsifying documents. How come y'all readily believe that those text messages was real? And I said, who? Hmm. That's a good point. That's a good point. I was like, damn, I didn't really think about that like that. That's a good point and all that stuff. And then once again, Kenya and Phaedra got into it or whatever about um, the whole thing and why she kept on acting like this. And then Phaedra pointed it all out. Girl, you pushed my husband in the pool. He picked you up and y'all played in the pool together. You're talking about getting three sons and all that stuff. You presented yourself this way and that way. So, you know, that's why you got... That's why, you know, even after Apollo said that the text messages or whatever that was going on between y'all wasn't true or whatever, that's why I still felt the way that I felt because of your actions that led up to it and that continued it in previous actions before and all this stuff. And it was just going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And I was just kind of pretty much over it. And because, you know, they were talking about this flirting stuff. They were talking about this flirting stuff, this cheating stuff. And, you know, it just irks me to see this, like... Kenya was calling Phaedra out on some stuff as if it was 100% facts like she know, like she was there. And my thing is, with all the women, if y'all, especially, you know, it's it's very much to this team versus this team, okay? This side versus this side. And this side don't like this side. But yet, this side claim to know so much about this side like they've been there. And this side claim to know so much about this side as, like they've been there too. And my thing of it is, if y'all don't like each other, why are y'all checking and knowing all this information on each other? That never makes sense to me. Like, if I don't like a bitch, I'm not finna look up no information on them. I'm not finna do nothing. I ain't doing no research. If I don't like you, you're not in my life. You're not in my thought process until somebody brings up. And then I'm going to say, I truly don't give a fucking move the fuck on. Okay? That's me. All right? I ain't going to sit here on some information like I know. Girl, get the fuck. That's a waste of my goddamn time. You know? And... These fools up in there. But um, after that, you know, how did it end? 
Cause they was talking about the flirting stuff, and then King was like, "So why are you talking about me flirting?" But yet Nene was flirting with Peter. Nene woke up. Then Nene said, "Hold up." First of all, I was never flirting with him. I am a married woman. I am in my marriage. Something that you ain't got. I said, wait a minute. Calm down, y'all. Calm down. Take it down a notch. So they going back and forth at each other. And, you know, here's the thing. Nene, whether you want to believe it or not, you was kind of flirting with Peter, you know, on a few of these episodes a couple of seasons ago when you and Cynthia was cool. Okay? Y'all used to flirt all the goddamn time. Whether it was friendly or not. It was friendly flirting. Okay? Just fucking admit it. If I was flirting with him, I would admit it. Y'all flirted, okay? You flirted with him all the time. We saw it. Ain't nothing wrong with it because y'all was friends, all right? And that was the dynamic that y'all had amongst y'all crew. You and Cynthia and Peter and Greg. Y'all knew what it was or whatever. It was harmless. It was cute. Y'all knew that at the end of the day, Nene going home with Greg and Peter going to be spending up Cynthia's cash. That's all that it is. We knew that, all right? So, I don't know why it, was, it took so much out of um, Nene to admit that. You know, and that just, uh, I was like, girl, y'all flirted. It is what it is. But that was basically the whole reunion for right then and there. Um, I guess next week we get to know some more shit. You know, I guess we get into, um, why Nene and, and got broke down. And, you know, Kim was like, so we got so much shit in common. But, Chad, you know, and that'd be the thing. You don't like a person for one little thing and come to find out you do have a lot of shit in common. You know, it be that way sometimes. You know, it is what it is. But this part two was okay. Y'all tell me how y'all felt about it. Um, yeah, especially the Phaedra and King Candy thing. Like I said, they both to blame. They both to blame. They could have did better in their friendships with each other if they really cared. But, you know, shit happens in life. Y'all tell me how y'all feel, and I'll see y'all later. Peace.